The Target 12 investigators are looking into what would happen if the state's top elected official were to get sick. Governor Gina Raimondo has never tested positive for the coronavirus, but we know she has been checked out, as well as other staff in the executive branch. Target 12 investigator Tim White is here now with what he's learned. A spokesperson tells me the governor has been tested for the coronavirus twice so far. Obviously, both came back negative, but one of those times came after a high-profile maskless appearance at a rally. After Governor Gina Raimondo appeared without a mask at a Black Lives Matter protest at the State House back in June, the governor was tested for the coronavirus. She later apologized for not following her own advice. It was clearly a mistake on my part. I shouldn't have done it. And it's just another note that we have to be vigilant. Asked what triggers the governor to receive a test, a spokesperson said the governor and her staff followed the same protocols for all Rhode Islanders, adding individuals in the executive branch have been tested in accordance with Department of Health guidance, such as after attending a large protest, when traveling out of state, or when identified by the Department of Health as a close contact. After British Prime Minister Boris Johnson fell ill in April, 12 News asked the governor what would happen if she tested positive. Well, of course, it would depend uh, how ill I were to become. If I'm able to work from home, then that's what I'll do. If I have to go to the hospital, we have a terrific team in place, and I think I'll leave it at that. I think we all know what happens with the chain of command if something more were to happen to me. Coming up, new at 6, I talk one-on-one -on -one with the state's top health official, Dr. Nicole Alexander-Scott, getting her reaction when she learned the president had tested positive. With the Target 12 investigators, Tim White, 12 News.